Hey, welcome to Strength for Today's Man. This is volume 44. I appreciate you guys checking in on me, tuning in, and following the program. Please, by all means, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we do upload a brand new video. All right, let's go to Matthew 6, 25 and 26. I'm really loving these devotions. And I hope you guys are getting a lot out of them. I hope that you're going back and listening to them and using whatever you can use. And I know that God is going to continue to bless you in all of your efforts and wherever you go, whatever you do. He's going to bless you. You just got to trust him. I stated in one podcast, trust the process. Trusting the process is trusting God. You got to put your trust in God no matter what what i know that times get hard times get trying times get difficult i understand all of that we're human and we're going to have these issues but what's going to make it easier is by trusting god completely just moving him and rest in him so matthew 6 25 26 says I'm going to read this from the English Standard Version. It says, I tell you, do not be anxious about life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into the barns. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Okay, I'm going to start this one with a question. Are you anxious? Are you anxious? There are many major things in life that consume us. I mean, a lot. Things that we care about. Things that we worry about. Things that we are consistently putting on our table of worry and we shouldn't we find things to worry about and often perceive little things as big problems are you looking at some of the problems you're having as really big now analyze it think about it is it really that big or is it that your mindset is getting you to think in a way that it's bigger than it really is sometimes our mind will play tricks on us Sometimes we just have to say, you know what? It's not that serious. It's really not that bad. But if we take the time to understand the real issue at hand and whose hand we hold as we go through this journey, I think we'll experience a peace that settles our souls. We'll find a peace that settles us in the midst of chaos. We'll find a peace that really comes in and subdues our whole being and we just calm down. You know, what's that old adage where people say, count to 10 before you say something? Count to 10. If you're upset, if you're mad, count to 10. Well, by the time you get to 10, sometimes you're a little, uh, a little more upset because you've waited 10 counts. But if you just slow down and allow God to step into the problem, step into the issue, then I know the issue at hand might be significant in our eyes. I understand that, but already taken care of in God's eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Part of the problem is that we confuse our wants with our needs. And if you're confusing your wants with your needs, you need to stop take a step back and really evaluate your wants and your needs. We get locked into our own desires. And I know a lot of people that get locked into their own desires and anxiety. It arises when we are left in want. I know people that they have issues of anxiety and you could just see them just nervous. Just they don't know what to do with themselves because something is out of whack. Something is not right. Something I need something. I want something, but I don't know what it is. I'm just nervous. And that anxiety takes over. They need to stop. They need to breathe. They need to just allow God's spirit 
to overshadow them. And I know that's a hard thing sometimes because when anxiety arises, you're not thinking about God. You're not thinking about how peaceful he is. You're not thinking about how loving he is. You're thinking about that problem. You're thinking about that issue. You're thinking about all that you have to do right now and what you have lack of. But Jesus reminds us that our heavenly father values us more than the birds in the air. You know, we got, a, there's a house across the street and many people that know me, I cannot stand pigeons. I can't, I just cannot stand pigeons because once they roost, they roost for life. And if they roost on your top of your house, all you hear is, Ooh, oh, I, I cannot stand that. And you're talking about bird anxiety. That's a bird anxiety for me. But even in that, God values us more than he values those birds that's flying around that are nesting on your roof, he cares for us more so. He reminds us that our needs have been provided for. Your needs have been provided for. So there's no need to be anxious about what you don't have or what you think you should have. You have what you need right now. Now, when God blesses you to get some of those wants, you really need to thank God for that. Thank God for giving you what you need and what you want. And I'm gonna wrap it up with this. If we can rest in that reality that God provides everything we need, our anxiety will fade away and peace will be present. God, may your provision bring me peace so I can pay mind to the significant struggles that surround me. Give me perspective and increase my trust in you. Do you have anxiety? Give it to God. This is Strength for Today's Man, Volume 44. I'm Malachi Mitchell. You guys go out there, make it a great day. Stop stressing, stop worrying, stop having all that anxiety when everything is taken care of by God. And you guys... I will definitely meet you right back here on the next podcast. You guys be blessed.